All right, guys, good morning. And I want to update you on the status of our podcast set. And it's extremely dark, and we don't have actual room lights, only production lights. So I don't know if you can see what we're working with. So let me open this blind so you can at least see what we have. So, um, no, the tripod isn't gonna just be here. We're just setting things up, getting some framing, but look at this big old light. So this is a super professional light, which I'm really happy for, because it's gonna light this entire room and make it look really good. And this is what we have going on. I got my chair, the guest chair, and Ma Bear's chair. And I'm really, really happy with how this came out. It's still not bolted to the wall or anything, but watch, check it out. It looks really good, right? Like glowing on camera and all that. And Ma Bear saw that and saw her back wall and it just didn't like plan out or pan out to how she wanted her vision to be which is really cool because it was a blessing in disguise because as we started like brainstorming what other options we had we're like wait a second why are we gonna have me and her next to each other and then the guest is here what if we duplicate something that's sick as hell for mama because she really likes this whole monochromatic theme why don't we put that over here and then now we kind of have like this symmetrical feel right and then we can just put our podcast sign in the middle and have the guest in the middle and then the podcast sign will be exactly where the guest is and so out of like things not hitting what we want it actually became better and that's one of the cool things about art because you know when you're drawing something sometimes you're like starting to draw like a apple repair like you're sketching right and then it eventually becomes something else and then you start drawing in the hard line certain places or even if you're jamming out and you're playing music and like, i want to make a love song but it starts to set like sound like like edm or something so that's what this whole set came out to be which is really really cool but i do want to show you guys what's really freaking sick about this light it's straight up is like a sun watch look at that it's straight up like daylight up in here look at my face like the drop off like there's a slight gradient right like it's the brightest here and it just slowly drops off gently it's so cool like all the points on the chair are highlighted right and it just kind of just drops off so it makes really good for like the lighting in the back like it just gives a nice little glow so what me and Mobber are gonna do is we're gonna go to Ikea now and get some shelving and build her side out and we drew it on a piece of paper and I think it's gonna look even better than what we have now and I'm super excited about that. All right, so this is the plan that we're gonna go with Mobber that I was talking about and we're gonna get two tall skinnier shelves, one on the left, one on the right and one like waist height shelf and we already looked on the Ikea website and there's a series called Billy that's pretty cool. And I drew out all the options. Like for me, I'm the type of person when I'm planning, I like to consider all options like A through, I don't know, H. And then that way I slowly like plug and play into why my H? vision. Um, Cause I like to have more than just A and B. But why H? Cause H stands for honey. Okay, moving on. <laughs> Bikini. So yeah, I like to have a A through F. Oh. What? What does that one stand for? For funny. Alright. I'm done. Alright. So I like to have at least A through G. And so when I have A through G planned out, then I can plug and play and see what makes the most sense. So on the um, IKEA website, there's like Eket, Calyx. Billy, of course they all have these crazy weird names, but Billy ended up fitting the best because with the tall skinny one and the middle one in the middle, it added it up to just about six feet wide, which is almost exactly uh, my shelf width. So it's gonna look very even on camera, which is really cool, but Mobber's gonna do this really sick thing, which, get, which is get black shelves, but at the end of it, on the inside where like the wall is, she's gonna paint it a pastel rainbow. So I think that black and that um, pastel color is going to be such a dope contrast. And if we could figure out a way to light it, I think Marber's background is going to be so freaking 
Sick. Sick. What? What's going on? Cuny. <laughs> all right, so the plan was for me and Ma Bear and Taika to all go hang out inside Ikea and check out cool stuff. So much in But of course, we have a party pooper. This was literally like a 12 minute drive. Are you up? You know what I'm very amazed by is IKEA's set design. So when you look at this, this actually looks really good, right? Even though there's not much depth, like that's just a straight up flat wall and the couches are pushed against the wall. But because it's so well lit from the top, like this lighting tells you what to focus on, what not to focus on, gives you nice depth and shadows. So even a small place, look really good and so this is me going damn I think for our podcast set I should have came to Ikea first to get inspiration so for all of you guys out there that are also looking to build like a small podcast set you don't really need too much space if you light it well so just make sure you have a lot of accent lighting to bring out the colors of stuff and this looks really good looking back now I think that's what we should have just done got like a big l-shaped couch and that would have been cool for the podcast. Oh my God, I just found something that would be perfect for what Ma Bear's envisioning. So you know how she wants to do a pastel rainbow within the black shelf? Look at this light. In every single shelf, we can change the color to exactly what we want it to be. That's perfect. I'm getting it for sure, it's gonna look sick. Dude, this is why I fucking love Ikea. So, I got the middle section bookcase. I need the two tall skinny ones, right? And it's this one right here. It's the one that's 79 inches tall and 15 inches wide. I'm like, cool, the exact color I want. And I'm like, what? Temporary unavailable? Are you kidding me? And what I love about Ikea is just their whole workflow and system. Because I go on the website and I go, I could have sworn I saw it last night, right? So I go here, I'm like, okay, that's it, okay? So I'm like, it's on the website, and it says it's, look, in stock in Las Vegas, right? And I go, article number. So if they have it here, it has to be here. And upstairs it said it was in bin 17. But I just started looking, and I'm like, bam, right here. And we got a big old stack of them. So this is what's cool about Ikea is they have their back end operations so good that they technically don't need to rely on their employees that much. Like if I was at any other store, like a Walmart or something, the minute I see something like that, I'm oh no, not available, I gotta talk to someone, I gotta talk to someone. But they make it so easy where you could pretty much serve yourself and I love that. So I just gotta grab two more, got these sick ass lights and we're out. The little grumpy man is awake. The little grumpy, grumpy man is awake. He's not grumpy, Dad. Are you sure? Yeah. Your shirt's grumpy, though. The cactus, that's a cutie. No, no, don't get on it like that. Of course, this guy would want to get on this cart. What is this? Is this a race car? Or is it a police car? You know what kind of car this is? What is it? I can't tell. It's an HD heavy duty car. I think it's a race car. It's a race car? Race car. Are you ready to go fast? A double steering wheel. Yeah. Monkey dude, what are you doing? I have my thumb the toys. Oh. Yeah, it's just, that's a lot. Yeah, look yeah. at that. Yeah, because I want to play with that. Because they're my favorite toys. Your favorite toys? Yeah. Okay. Mama? Hey. They look similar. Yep. No, they're the same thing. The same thing. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Look at what Papa's about to do. He is gonna start priming the backing of um, my shelves. So, dun, 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 dun. look at how cuny and small this thing is. Everybody, get started. Get started. Get started. Get started. Look at that. Look at that. That's a lot of McDonald's toys. Yeah, that's a ton of McDonald's yeah, toys, dude. Yeah, because I'll show you what I want everyone to 
to play with me. That's why I'm okay. That's why I'm playing with you. That's very nice. And on this corner of home, we're all gonna judge Pa Bear on his. Don't judge me. On his Picasso skills. Ooh, you didn't go with the green. You went against the green. Oh no no not right now not right now. Papa's painting right now. Okay, monkey. Do the character. Wow, what do you call this? This I call the zigzag. <gasps> wow, how much are you gonna sell it for? This? Yeah. Mm, I think it's priceless, so I'm not even gonna sell it. Good answer. Yep, it's real priceless. I don't know if people would be able to afford it, so then it might never sell. People could afford this. You just said it's priceless. By price, I mean like 75 cents. Oh, okay. All right, so we assembled the shelf with the primer backing, and it looks like this, and we also taped it up too. So all we have to do now is paint the insides, and I think it's gonna turn out really, really cool. We're not gonna paint until we build the other shelf, and the reason why we wanna do that, <laughs> what is it, monkey? Monkey, come here. And the reason why is uh, paint dries real quick. So we wanna build everything, that way we can use the same color, and then just paint everything at once. So it'll be uh, whatever pastel rainbow. And I think that pastel is really gonna pop against this shelf. I think it's turning out really, really good. All right, we uh, spent the night cleaning up a little bit and Mobber did this cute thing. You wanna explain what you did over here? What did I do? This cute like oh. cup system. Uh, why did I do that? It was super cute. So I hate like thinking about stuff so I'm all about prep. I like prepping yeah. things because yeah. I do the task at hand. I don't like, I don't know, kind of guessing and, and trying to figure it's shit out. It's a mess, yeah. Doing it. yeah. You so don't have like to go the, on the fly anymore. Right. So each one of these cubbies is going to be a different color. You already told them about that. Right? Okay. So as I'm painting it and I'm done, I don't want to go, wait, what's the next one? And then kind of like search for it. Yeah. So I'd rather prep everything now. Make it brainless. Yeah. Because I hate thinking. Um... Yeah, and you see it. So I, I labeled all numbers one, two, three, four, Ooh, all the way to six. One, two, three, yeah, four. Yeah, and then I put it everything in its little bin. So, so now the, I know this is the first color, and I don't think anymore. And then after the first smart. color. So yeah, every bin, every paintbrush, every color is marked. And see, like five is blue, and we know that goes on shelf five. And guess who did that? Taika did it for me. That's cute. I just numbered everything, and I'm like, okay, put it all in its bins, and he did a great job. He Hell didn't yeah. miss one of them. And now we're gonna close out the day with some, <laughs> good job, good job. We're gonna close out the day, with some yummy Italian food. Got some uh, margarita pizza right here. And then I'm excited for these lobster raviolis. We found mm. this place. It looked really good. So we're gonna check it out. And uh, the bread's bomb too. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna continue building tomorrow. Good night guys.